Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another edition of Two Scoop News. Now, as it turns out, the Spanish embassy in Kabul has just been car bombed. Here are the details that we have so far on record. I want to take us back to that situation in Kabul, Afghanistan, where we know there's been a loud explosion and ongoing gunfire in a highly fortified part of the area, an area of embassies and western hotels. For more, we're joined on the phone by Sunay Engel Rasmussen, a journalist working in the capital. What are you seeing? What are you hearing? Hi there. Hi. Uh, yeah, so I'm uh, close to the scene of the explosion. Uh, the explosion happened like probably an hour and a half ago now. Um, there's nothing being confirmed from police or uh, from official side, but there's a lot of talk here that the target might have been uh, the Spanish embassy. Um, I can't confirm that, like I said, but the Spanish embassy is close to here, and and um, and there's still uh, a clearing operation going on uh, very slowly. There's a lot of police, a lot of soldiers around. They're still moving into the area. Everything is pretty quiet at the moment, but there is... Uh, sporadic gunfire from time to time. Um, it seems there was a car bomb that detonated in front of whatever the target was. And uh, as is often the case with uh, with uh, attacks like this, there might be gunmen holed up inside the building, uh, which uh, with security forces are now trying to clear. We're hearing a Taliban spokesman, spokesperson saying that suicide attack started on a guest house in the Shirpur area. Obviously, that's where you are. Um, this is, again, we, we don't know if there's an ongoing shooter or shooters, uh, but as you say, this is also uh, just another example of, of an increasingly uh, worrying security situation in Afghanistan. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is uh, one of the most secure areas uh, of the city, and, and uh, but also a place where there's a lot of high-profile targets, and the Taliban and, and, uh, and other insurgents have uh, carried out attacks in this part of city before, uh, often quite spectacular attacks to try and get a lot of attention. Yes, friends, and it is now confirmed that the Spanish embassy has been car bombed, but thankfully most of the staff are safe. This kind of reminds me of Jeremiah 17 9, which talks about the heart being desperately wicked. Now, I don't know what the motive was or the reason for it was, but violence is not the answer. Friends, as we are living in Earth's final days, let us look at these things as warning signs for Christ's soon return. And stay encouraged, friends, because when Christ comes back, all this evil and sorrow will be gone, and all that will be left is joy and bliss. Well, that's it, guys. I'm Shimon Hurst, Two Scoop News, where you get your two scoops every day news please give this video a like as it does help out a lot and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one follow us on facebook and twitter and as always thanks for watching and god bless <laughs>